human rights activist and co-convener of the Bring Back Our Guest movement, Aisha Yusufu, has decried the failure of President Muhammadu Buhari to address the country on the gruesome killing of at least 43 farmers in the Zambari, Zambamari area of Borno City. Yusufu on Twitter lamented that a Boko Haram leader from the Abubakar Shikawa faction had addressed the country on Tuesday while the president has yet to make an address. She noted that this suggested that Nigeria had no leader. She said the leader of the terror group has addressed the nation while the ruler of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has yet to address the country. The terrorists know their leader has got their back. Nigerians have no leader. This hurts. And she tweeted that on her Twitter page. Hmm. The peoples with the power are kneeling for him and going on errands on his behalf. The legislative arms of government is where we need to focus our attention for now. They have the power to checkmate the executive. We need competent people there. Yusufu's voice is one among national and global condemnation that has greeted the violent massacre of the Borno state farmers last Saturday, an occurrence where sources said over 80 persons, over 80 persons were tied and slaughtered. An infuriated Senate on Tuesday had called on the president to sack the service chiefs, who seemed to be lacking ideas to ensure national security. The House of Representatives had also summoned the president to appear before it and answer to the killings. The Bono State Governor, Professor Babagana Zulu, who seemed to have lost faith in the Nigerian Armed Forces, had stated on Monday that the president should engage the services of mercenaries to clear the entire Sambisa forest. The governor has said one of our recommendations as possible solutions to end the insurgency is the immediate recruitment of our youth to into military and paramilitary services to complement the efforts of the Nigerian forces. Our third recommendation is for the president to engage the services of mercenaries to clear the entire Sambisa forest. In three minutes and 37 seconds video, a masked Boko Haram leader had come out to say on Tuesday that the insurgents carried out the massacre because the farmers arrested one of its members and handed him over to the Nigerian military. Hmm. It's really, really hot. For those who are, are deep thinkers, for those who mean well for this country, this is not how to rule a country. No, 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 no. Even in the family, children are just, things are just going uh, in disarray. Things are just moving in an awkward manner. You see the, the leader of the house will now sit down and be looking. Like, seriously, does it happen like that? You all, you have your businesses that you do. You have your offices that you go to. Is that how you run your business? Is that how it's being done? Is that how it's being done? Even in a community where you have all these monarchs, in villages, things will be happening like this, and the, the monarch, the oba, the king will not see anything. Does it happen like that? Not to talk of a whole nation. Everybody is just looking. Nobody, everybody is trying to be politically correct. Maybe a lot of people are really afraid. Those who are supposed to talk, they are really afraid. Some of them have even talked in the past. They are even tired. We have timber and calibers in this country. And they have seen this whole thing going in this manner. And just like what I said, that it's like the focus is now on these uh, legislators, the lawmakers, both upper and, and lower chambers. They are the ones that we supposed to have, you know, business because they are representing us at each level yet of course they have spoken but it's like they are now speaking too late does he even listen to anybody is it quickly has called for investigation of his mental health the president's mental health and some people are saying oh she's going too far of course you know that some people they are something is wrong with them you can't even you can't be surprised you cannot be surprised just like he said, like she said, Aisha Yusuf said, it hurts. It hurts. Since it since I gave up on this president was when this incident, I always say it, the incident that happened in South Africa, the way our people were treated, he never bothered. He has been doing it even before there. He never bothered. A typical example was what happened at Lekki 
even throughout the protest, he never said anything. Even when things got deteriorated, he never said anything. Until people, you know, even if he comes out to speak, I don't even understand. You have to push him, push him. Or maybe they are doing Riaza because at the end of the day, it's going to be a pre-recorded broadcast. Ha. It's unfortunate. Immediately, it did not just take time. The Boko group, the, the leader has already addressed... He has addressed, he has addressed, he addressed the nations because he has been able to tell Nigerians the reason why they did what they did. He has given the reason, given his reasons. Meanwhile, the one that is supposed to be the leader of the country is is through, is speaking through his special his, uh, spokesman on Twitter. On Twitter, maybe after how many when people have forgotten, they would then come out and begin to do pre-recorded live broadcast or whatever how can we continue in this kind of situation it's odds perfect expression from a great woman yeah that's what someone is saying here very very great expression someone says here that Nnamdi Kano has been shouting Buhari was not there for a long time but you kept quiet or you keep quiet we need systematic cleansing in all the paramilitary and the government too like mission impossible rogue nation we should try to apply it do we even have a president do we really have a president people are asking that question do we really have a president well it is not the president address we need now what is the value of address that is not yielding results what we need from the president is actions with positive results but we are not getting any we are not getting any of those so the so-called Boko Haram chiefs have the upper hand over the military. Shame if it were the IPOP's armless group. Their power will surface. Okay. The Oxford definition of a leader is not applicable in the case of the Nigerian president. As a result, the country is incomplete economically, politically, socially, and lacks respect for human lives and properties. Buhari is not in charge of this government again. Come to think of it, is behaving like an emperor. He's not responsible to anybody. He knows more than anybody. So, fellow Nigerians, let's vote his party out. Come 2023, because the present Senate can't remove him and defend ourselves. Yes, they can't do anything. They can ne never do anything at all. So, guys, uh, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below respectfully, and let's have your take on this.